My name is Dr. Michael Zwiers. I'm a psychologist, uh, assistant professor at the University of Calgary, and I have ADHD. I wasn't diagnosed with ADHD until I reached adulthood, and in part this is because I was very interested in learning and uh, excited about new ideas, so I did quite well in school. Some aspects of school I struggled with, but uh, overall I did well. Uh, so my impairments the struggles that I had were, were, weren't caught by other people. They saw my functioning as being quite uh, high. Uh, because of that, uh, I ended up uh, kind of limping through uh, the early stages of the completing my degree in the early stages of my career because I didn't uh, fully understand why I was struggling in certain areas. I would get things done to a high enough quality, but the cost was staying up late at night, etc., uh, putting in all those extra hours to uh, accomplish what needed to be done. Uh, once I came into the diagnosis, uh, I was able to understand myself in a new light. And one of the things I want to talk about is uh, the importance of people sharing uh, their own diagnoses and not being shy to tell other people about it because this is a very uh, successful kind of condition in the sense that it continues in the human ge genome. Uh, it, prevalence rates we know are probably somewhere between 4 and 7% across the lifespan. And with these kind of prevalence rates, uh, it's not going anywhere soon. There are lots of, lots of us who have this condition, and it's not all bad. Um, but the important thing is that we uh, come to a, a place where we can accept it for ourselves and not be shamed by it, and then bring that forward into the world so that we can help each other and help others understand what's really going on with us. The second thing that I think is important to understand is that uh, ADHD is not a trivial disorder. Uh, it's not something that should be uh, should be trivialized, which it unfortunately is. Uh, people describing it as uh, something that we all have. I think everybody has uh, aspects of ADHD kind of impairments from time to time, but uh, we wouldn't say that they had ADHD any more than somebody feeling down or depressed would be called uh, a depressed pr a person with a depressive disorder. So I, I think it's important that we embrace uh, what ADHD brings, uh, not being shy about it, and then uh, on the second side of it, understand those impairments which are real and the challenges that people face, and then work together uh, uh, over time. We're, we're discovering new uh, ways that we can uh, help to ameliorate the, the condition, that move beyond uh, medication, move into psychosocial kind of interventions and supports so that people like myself and like you or people that you know can be more successful in this life. Thank you.